No one likes to walk away from a relationship, especially if it's one that you've invested a lot of time, care and attention to. But sometimes it's easy to totally focus on all of the good times and completely ignore all of the toxicity that you're experiencing and how you're actually being mistreated and being taken advantage of. In today's video, I want to go over three red flags that I've observed from toxic relationships and why if you recognize them, you need to consider walking away before you experience heartache and emotional trauma and struggle to move on to find healthier and happier relationships. My name is Dan, that dating anxiety guy, and if this is your first time visiting my YouTube channel, I'm a life coach and an anxiety coach, specifically helping men in the field of dating. So I've been in the dating industry for the last 16 plus years, so I'd like to think that I know a thing or two about the world of dating for men and most certainly the highs and lows that they experience. Now these are in no particular chronological order, but if at the very least you do experience at least one of these, I'd recommend that you sit and have a think about your current relationship with your partner and consider if this is something that you think you can fix or not. Now, if you are experiencing at least two of these, then you should probably consider that you're in a toxic relationship and perhaps that maybe it's time for you to walk away. Your mental health and well-being should be priority number one in any relationship that you have. And although relationships are give or take in a sense of you being supportive of one another, and offering unconditional love for each other's flaws, you do also need to be aware of when you're being taken advantage of and where to draw that line. The first red flag to be aware of is when your negative experiences start to outweigh the positive. Now, as relationships go on, it's safe to say that both parties tend to get more laid back in the relationship and tend to put less and less effort into it. Sometimes it's mutual and sometimes it's not. Having plenty of arguments or trying to purposefully find ways to stay away from each other could potentially be signs that you're both staying together simply for the sake of it. Many men and women that I've spoken to over the years are actually very scared to be single again, believing that if they leave this relationship that they will never find someone ever again. Now, of course, this isn't true. But this mindset trap keeps people unnecessarily together and this kind of forcefulness can lead to people resenting their partners or going as far as cheating on them for outside excitement. If you're experiencing way too many negative moments with your partner, then you need to have a think about if this is something that can be fixed or not. Do you both need to talk things out or do you need to clear the air about something? Or have you both just drifted apart emotionally, physically and sexually? And that maybe perhaps you're both together simply for the sake of it. Sadly, this is something that you will have to decide and discover on your own or at the very least with your partner. A second red flag that I've observed is when guys' core values are being either manipulated or broken. Relationships are meant to be about respecting people's boundaries and being with someone who shares similar or the same core values as you. The moment that these are being taken advantage of, it could be a sign that trust and honesty are slowly deteriorating in the relationship. So you may be the guy who's looking for a long-term relationship, maybe you wanna get married and even settle with kids. She may have said that once upon a time that she wanted that too, but as the relationship went on between the two of you, she may have decided, for example, that maybe she wants to go out and party more and that getting drunk and being around more party guys might suddenly seem more important. In this example, unfortunately, one thing can lead to another and something will likely happen. She'll likely deny it and constantly leave you paranoid about it. And on top of that, she'll likely gaslight you too. In those moments, you have to be very clear of your boundaries and decide if your relationship compatibility is still there. Time does ultimately change people as well as experiences do too. So you have to come to the conclusion and decide if perhaps time has unfortunately it pulled you both apart. But as a silver lining though, leaving the relationship does give you the opportunity to find someone who you're gonna be much more aligned with, who's gonna embrace your core values, and it's gonna make for an even stronger and healthier bond between you and your new future partner.
The final red flag that I've observed is when relationships start feeling like that you've become their personal support or member of staff. So what do I mean by this? Before people get into relationships, the majority of people tend to wear masks. They try hiding their flaws to show off the best versions of themselves to help with building attraction. Now, very commonly in relationships, the mask wearing becomes unnecessary and people tend to reveal in time their true selves. And in some instances, they can become a completely different character to the person that you met and fell in love with. Suddenly, they become a lot of hard work and without realizing it, you can become their own personal slave catering to their whims and needs, doing whatever you can to keep them happy in the relationship. Their behaviors can manifest in a number of ways, from narcissism to physical abuse or psychological gaslighting and even to threatening suicide if you don't appeal to their demands. And unfortunately, I have seen and heard all of those. Now, sometimes your partner may open up about their mental health issues. And to be honest, it is entirely your decision if you can look past it and offer them that unconditional love and support. But the majority of time, sadly, it's usually entrapment or demoralizing for the guy and he's clearly being taken advantage of. And if your emotional well-being is slowly being chiseled away at, then you have to consider walking away. Sometimes you may not notice it until it's too late, but you have to try and recognize it as early as you can. Or heed your friend's advice if they notice it from an outside perspective that you are in fact being manipulated. Unfortunately, some women out there are professionals at what they do. So again, if you experience any of these, I want you to consider if the relationship is right for you. Breakups are hard, but what's worse is staying with someone who will mentally and spiritually destroy you. I want you to find someone who makes you happy, who shares your values, and someone who puts the same effort into the relationship just as much as you do. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this video and share any more stories that give this video more content and guidance to those who are maybe seeking help. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't yet already, as it helps me to reach even more men and help even more guys with their anxiety and dating too. But till the next video, guys, thanks for watching and take consideration of your mental health for any relationship that you're in.